good morning, you lots. Hey, yo. How are we all? Oh, forgot to do something. Real professional right there. How are we all? Are you good? That's better. That's better. Whoop. <laughs> All right. Just set it on my screens. Why did I not do that a little earlier? Oh well. Sorted. How are we all today? This morning? This afternoon? Wherever the hell you are. Uh, it's Monday morning for me right now, but I don't think it's Monday morning for most of you guys. I think most of you guys are from the States. Uh, where are you all watching from? D am I early enough to get a decent European audience? Like what time is it over there? What's up? Montana. There we go. All set up. Yes. Where is everybody watching from? Mo I think most of you guys are from the States. Is it too early for people in Australia? I saw Will here. Good morning, Will. Yeah, most people are. Yeah, most people, it's a Sunday. Yes, I heard. I heard. That's very sad. Yeah, California, I feel like it's a big one, um, particularly because, like, this is mostly California. Like, they were, we're basing everything off. Uh, Germany, Netherlands, Greece, Scotland. 4 p.m. in the U.S., beautiful. That's a pretty good time, isn't it? 4 p.m. on a Sunday, I think that's, like, the best time to be watching a stream, right? Tennessee. Is that the same person saying Tennessee, or is it like, a lot of people from Tennessee watching? France, Oregon. In Canada, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, man, okay. Can I just, I just want to say, I've been working in Marble Mountain, Marble Mountain so much recently. Uh, and there's, the map is full of spoilers. Like, I've got to be so careful where I fly around. I, I can't, I can't just fly everywhere in the map. There's, there's like real, real specific places where I can fly. Like, the city has spoilers. The countryside has just huge amounts of spoilers. So I just need to be like really careful where I fly. So that being said, uh, maybe just like you can keep an eye out if you want to see some spoilers. Otherwise, I'm just going to like keep in the back of my mind. Um, we should be fine. Like I don't mind flying over to some places to show you, um, you know, other areas that don't have spoilers. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to try not to show anybody. Auckland, Colorado, Arizona, Brazil, Sydney. It's not a bad day in Sydney, is it? It's quite nice. I will go out eventually. What is it? 8.30 in the morning. We'll get out there eventually. We've got more important things to do. Uh, do you have good public transport in Australia or is it, or is it in there like the US? Uh, it is not great in Australia. <laughs> we don't have very good public transport. Uh, what can I blame for that? I think it's because we're, um, I don't know, I think we're pretty much a new country. We don't like, I know you guys, like that last episode I recorded, I was like talking about the public transport in the States. Um, you should see the public transport in, in Sydney, sorry, in Australia. Uh, like we barely have any trains going out in the, any other sort of town. And they go so bloody slow. It's it's quicker to fly. Or drive. Everyone just drives. Okay. So, today. Today I'm going to turn the fan on. Okay, now the fan's done. Uh, what I'm going to do today is... To avoid all spoilers, I'm gonna work over here. <laughs> Otherwise, like we're just gonna you're just gonna be spoiled. 
everything's gonna be spoiled. I don't want that. So we're going to work around here. And I've been wanting to work around here for ages. When I put up that question to you guys uh, last night in on my story, on my post, whatever it is, I asked, I asked what you guys wanted to see in this stream. A lot of people are pushing for me to work on this side of the bay, which I'm kind of surprised at. I didn't realize so many people wanted me to work over here, which is kind of good because this is like the only area that I can work in without spoiling anything. So uh, that's great. I also want to do a bit of planning. So uh, a couple things. Let me just talk about a couple of things before we start building. First up, I have a book of uh, things that I want to put over there, or all ideas basically that I put into Marble Mountain are in this book. Uh, I've got a blank page that says says over the river, and I would like your ideas about what sort of things we're going to put over here. Because I don't want to just go over, start building, and then all of a sudden we start going, oh, wouldn't it be cool if this was over here, or wouldn't it be cool if that was there? We need to know what we're going to put over here. So that's my first thing. Like you can just dish it out throughout the chat. Um, and I'll hopefully be able to see it. I won't, I'm going to try and stay on topic, but also, uh, read your comments at the same time. And then what was the other thing? Yeah. So I'm just going to, I'm going to try and plan this out really well. Uh, over here, what I want to be thinking about is things that we don't already have in the city. So I don't want to put, what's a good example. So if we're like, oh, hey dude, you should totally put a, a highway that's a sunken highway that like stretches along uh, like a downtown and blah, blah, blah. Of course, I'm not going to do that, but we already have that. I don't want to have something that looks the same over here. Everything needs to be different. We need to squeeze in as many different features as possible. Um, otherwise, it's just like a repeat. Uh, so the things, and I can see people already writing things down. Let me just consult. I've only got three things on here so far. Um, I have on the very top of the piece of paper, which you are all writing in the chat, airport. Yes, this is where the airport is going to go. No, we're not going to build it today. Can't just whip out a bloody airport in one episode. So airports, uh, suburbs are going to go over here. And I also have headlands. I want, just making a mess. Um, I want headlands to go over here. So if any of you guys are familiar, I'm, you're familiar with it, but uh, I want like some really nice, uh, open field headlands that uh, have, you know, just like bush and nature and walking tracks and stuff over this side. So this is not going to have very many houses, uh, sort of like this, but less like this. It's going to be more, more, um, more naturey. And then um, we'll probably progress over here and have suburbs and neighborhoods and all that sort of stuff. And I am thinking the airport's going to go somewhere around here potentially. And I want a biggish airport. Like it's going to be, it's going to be sort of like in the scale of Marble Mountain. It's going to be like big, but it's not going to be that big, if you know what I mean. So it's going to be international. It's going to be, uh, I guess what LAX is, you know, like a big, big airport, a big airport. But, you know, if I was going to do it to scale, then it'd just be like, like the, like the size of the city. So, that are my ideas. I want fresh ideas. I want things that we don't already have in Marble Mountain. If you have any ideas, let me know down below. Uh, yes, so someone's writing a vineyard. That is something that I'm definitely going to do. I've even got the assets to do it, but I don't think it's going to fit over here. There it is. Yeah, so I do actually have these. We will do this, but I think we need suburbs. Like if you're gonna put something over here, it's, it's gonna be like, a, it's gonna be a part of the city. I think vineyards would be great for something up over here or maybe way over here, but like not just here. So that is definitely on the place. That is definitely on the, on the cards, I should be saying. A McDonald's driving, yes. What sort of houses are we going to be putting over here? Are these going to be rich people over here? Is this going to be a mix? I don't know. I do have like a, kind of like a bit of a poorer neighborhood over here. Like this is where I'm going to be like redeveloping into 
um, a bit of like a much um, much poorer neighborhood. We could have something similar around here, or this could be dedicated to more richer people. Uh, this is like a rich neighborhood up here. This is Bayview, it's quite nice area. City Hall, got City Hall over here. National Park, got one of them. We got heaps. Yeah, actually we will, we will do a National Park over here. Event Hall, we have one of them. See what I mean? We got a lot of these things. This guy. How good's that? I didn't even build that. One of my patrons build that. So yeah, we do have that. We've got stadiums, we've got events. That's the city so far. Racetrack, far out. There are so many people asking for a racetrack. I'm gonna put it down here, but I'm gonna like underli underline it. I'm not that keen to do a racetrack. <laughs> There's so many people are asking for me to do a racetrack. Just like Area 51, everyone's asking for that too. Middle class, I'm sort of thinking middle class. Marina, that's a good idea. We don't actually have one of them. I'm sorry if this is boring, but we do need to figure this out before just going into it because we're gonna totally wreck it. A zoo, have one of them. Church, I don't think we have any good church assets. Shopping center, that's a good one. We don't really have a shopping district. I mean, of course it's everywhere. Oh, do we put a theme park over here? I'm gonna underline that one. It's a good one. Yeah, shopping district's a really, really good one. Yeah, some sort of mall. Uh, but we'll have to, I'm gonna, I think we could probably get away with building a mall just with, uh, just with the assets that we have. Uh, wrong link to the wiki in the description. Damn. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, if you guys want to get to the wiki, then go, you can check it out. It's in any of my other descriptions. This one doesn't work. I'm, I want to focus on this before changing too much of all that, because I don't think that's going to make too much of an interesting stream. Prison, got a prison. Hollywood Hills. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking that, but I was also hoping that this area would be a bit of a Hollywood Hills, you know? I think that'd be quite nice. I'm half tempted to put like a Montana up here, like a, like the word, but I did do that in Springwood. So I can't, I can't just like whip out the same, uh, the same moves every single time. Now I'm about to get working in a second. Uh, what else? Water treatment facility, that's, we should probably get something like that because we don't actually have that. Water treatment. Shit, we don't even have a power station. So, uh, a couple of people were saying things like, uh, my, they, they were hating the, like how many of the wind farms I have. Yeah, hundred percent. So the wind farm, by the way, is, I don't like, I'm going to put it here, but I'm not going, it's, there's too many. Um, I've actually deleted a bunch of them at the moment, but they, um, yeah, I've just been plopping them down every single time we needed power. Um, I have actually plopped down a massive power station out in the desert just for, just for the time being. So we can, um, you know, actually get a bit of power in the city. Last chance. Observatory. That's a good one. Chinatown, that might be cool. I don't know what assets I have for that though. I'm trying to go vanilla guys, as much as possible. The Vegas Strip, yeah, we're doing that. That'd be out in the desert, of course. Eiffel Tower, I uh, don't know how much that's gonna fit in this area. <laughs> a mental Asylum, Ugh. Yeah, I think a power station is something we definitely need. We probably, if we're gonna do a power station, we probably need to extend the docks a little bit. You know, like a bit of an industrial area. All right, so this is like my way of thinking about, you know, the next steps for this project. A movie studio. 
Now that would be really cool. So, Hydro Dam, that's coming. That's going to be up in the mountains, more around where Mama Mountain is. Uh, we have farms. Yes, we have all that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, what I'm thinking is, looking at the list, this is what people have suggested. Well, these are the ones that I, I really like. Airport, suburbs, headlands, fast food, racetrack, marina, shopping, theme park, water treatment, power station, observatory, docks, movie studio. I think the shopping is definitely a thing. The airports definitely. Uh, headlands, I definitely want to do. There's got to be some sort of suburbs. I think it's going to be a mix of uh, like uh, kind of like wealthy residents. And then like probably, you know, if we can have docks, we can have a bit of industry because we do need a power station. So power station would be a good one. Uh, if we can do power, then we should probably put industry, water treatment. I really love the water. I really love the movie studio I did too. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Racetrack, guys, why does everyone want a racetrack? <clears throat> it just, it just be like a round circle thingy. All right, first things first. All bad ideas, you're out, see ya. So we are going to first uh, figure out a little bit of this Bay Area because, so, all right, this is this is fine, but I think that it's, it's kind of lost its impact. Like it doesn't look as grand of a, <clears throat> that's better. It doesn't look as grand of a um, Bay, you know, it's, Kind of more of like a little river and i think that's a little bit a bit boring i think we can do better than that so i actually want to extend this out just a bit more um i'm gonna be taking a bit of ideas from like the uh, san francisco bay because i think that's like a really it really makes a nice backdrop for the city for the skyline uh, plus it'd be a bit more of a grand entrance when you go through the bridge too so we are going to just extend this out a bit and i think that's gonna look really cool Racetrack will definitely come, don't worry. Casinos will be out in the desert. But we're ages away for that, from that. All right, I better pause the game, otherwise we're gonna lose a lot of, we're gonna lose that water. See this mountain? Say you buy that mountain. Yeah. We're gonna have to start planning out this whole area again. But I think that this mountain should sit on the edge of this, like this is the edge of the city. So wherever we put this, uh, because you know, we're not gonna put a mountain in the middle of the city. Uh, let's have a look. We should probably get rid of that ground texture too, because that's a little bit, makes it a bit confusing to see what's going on. Don't you? The university campus? Yeah, we already have one of them. I'll probably put the next university campus in like another another town. Uh, that bloke Will, are you still in the chat, mate? Uh, probably should get rid of those trees, right? Do, 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 do. Also, if you have any other ideas, you just you just hit me up, and I hopefully I'll be able to see it. Uh, Super chat is also enabled, so if you want to, if you're really desperate to get my attention, or if you just want to support what I'm doing, then um yeah, that's enabled. You also get a place in Marble Mountain if you if you do that. Oh, and if you do do that, then um let me know what place you want because then I can give it to you. Otherwise, I'm just gonna choose a random one. What are you guys? What, what is going on there? I said leave. Thank you. Man, we are making some big changes. Okie dokes. So, look, if we're going to have headlands, I think that just like this one sort of caves, uh, curves out, we should go like this. Yeah. Will, if you're, if you're planning on sticking around, would you be interested in being a moderator for the chat? 
just so I can um, focus my attention on this, if that's okay. Uh, custom cemetery, that would be quite cool. Good idea. I wonder how I could do that. I wonder how I could build a custom cemetery with just the assets that I have. An island, yes. Um, if you guys want to have a look at, so like go and grab your like grab your phone or whatever. If you're in front of the computer, check out uh, San Francisco Bay. And if you have any ideas for things I should include in terms of like the landscape, then yeah, let me know because that's what we're doing. We're gonna do landscaping for probably about 20 minutes. Islands. Guys, you are part of some big changes in Montana. Honestly, this is a big, this is a big deal. Thanks, Will. I appreciate that. You're going to help me out. That bloke, Will, is now a moderator. Thanks, mate. I do really appreciate that. I mean, mind you, it is City Skylines, so most people are just, like, happy to hang out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, everyone's just pretty chill and happy. But just so I can focus too. Hey, look at that cash flow. Oh man, that is pretty cool. All right, so we'll see what happens after this. Alcatraz, hmm. Oh, like a, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put islands. I'm gonna put abandoned building. Wouldn't that be cool for some tours as well? Like the ferry drops people off. Tours. So this is what we need to do. We need to be thinking of things that are unique, things that we haven't done yet. Uh, you know, I don't want to just put the same crap over here. I want it all to be different. Yeah, well, always good vibes. I do appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Real ledge. Uh, and no pressure to stick around either, mate. So don't worry. If you, if you need to go, then just you can just leave. It's all good. Uh, Sichuan Province, it's going to be back on Wednesday. I, um, it was meant to be, it was meant to come out uh, this weekend, but I wanted to show you this stuff that I was doing in Mullen Mountain. Uh, but it's a good episode. So it'll be out on Wednesday. And then an, an enormous episode on the weekend for Mama Mountain. It's pretty huge. All right, let's not go too big, dudes. Let's just cut that back a little bit. Fire out. How are you going? I'm pretty good. Thank you very much. Submarine base. I will... How am I going to put a submarine, though? If you can come up with a good idea where I, how I can make a submarine, then I'll go for it. All right, I've got question marks about this. And this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about these. I don't know about these at all. Like, I know the tram is going to go along here at some stage. I mean, this is the natural place for a bridge. No, this would make sense for a bridge. But it is a little bit... I think we can make it longer. Plus, it's not very, like... It's not very impressive, is it? It's not very impressive. We'll make that more impressive. So if I do this. I think that's going to be way better. Oh, my friend. Spectrumist. Thank you so much. A Formula One styled track. Not oval NASCAR's track. Something for local enthusiasts um, to test their builds on. Also, I'd love to own a house in this new area. Okie dokes. Thank you so much for your support, buddy. I really do appreciate that. I'm going to write down your name and you'll be the first person who gets a property. Um, now, it's going to be ages until I do that racetrack. But I'm, I'm surprised at how many people are actually interested in it. I think it'll be over here if we're going to do a track. Or it might be, it might 
be left for something that is like a bit more out of the city. So it's coming, my friends. It is coming. It'll definitely, it'll definitely come. But I think we, there's a lot of planning to be done. Um, but I will give you a property as soon as I put down a property down here. It probably won't be in this episode, unfortunately. Now, I'm, I'm curious. I don't think... Will, you might better help me out here, but... NASCAR is like definitely an American thing, but... Uh, I don't know. I feel like we're not... In Australia, car racing isn't quite as big of a thing. Now, that could be I could be wrong about that. But NASCAR is definitely something that gets suggested all the time. <laughs> like in every episode, it's like, when are you going to build Area 51? When are you going to build a military base? You should build a racetrack. They're like my comments I get the most frequent. Brett, thank you, dudes. Two dollars. I will give you... How about one of these? Look, you can have the top floor of this place. You get to look at the new area that we are... We are developing. There you go, mate. Thanks for the support. Much appreciated. That's your view. Oh, it's not very nice at the beginning, is it? Don't worry, it's gonna look good. It'll look good. Trust me. You got some good public transport around you too. You've got the docks. That's a nice spot. Uh, V8 supercars in Australia is Australian version of NASCAR. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, look, I'm not much of a car guy, but I, yeah, I used to live in Bathurst, which was. Like when I went to university, I went to university in Bathurst, which is uh, home to like a massive racetrack. And that was kind of, that was kind of fun. What do you think about the size? Do you see what I mean? Now it's sort of like, it's making a little bit more, it's a bit more impact, impactful, more of an impact. What am I trying to say here? 450 people watching, what the heck? Guys, that is amazing. I don't think I've ever had that many people watching before. Is it because I released a trains episode yesterday? Tell you what, all you have to do, secret to YouTube, just put the title, in the, in the title, make sure you include trains and views. Uh, <clears throat> my voice just disappeared. Can you start building something? No, I am not going to build anything. The reason why I'm not going to build anything is because I have to plan first. If I was to build something, then I'd probably regret it. Hmm, but that is going to be a big, big ass bridge. But I think it's going to look pretty cool. Gator the God, what's up, mate? How are you today? Ah, uh, thanks, man. I much appreciated. I'm enjoying Mother Mountain so much at the moment. So much fun. I probably need to get back into Sichuan Province. And not to mention my other games that I was playing. <laughs> uh, love the love the Europe way of your public transport. Thanks, dude. Is it? Is it? Is it a bit European? <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, it's probably like train enthusiasts are like, dude, it's an absolute mess. Uh, which I have to agree. It kind of is a bit messy. I'm going to give you an apartment. It's going to be this one. It's going to be overlooking all the stuff that we're working on. Hash key. Is it a little bit European? Far out. I was trying to go for an American thing. I actually want to do some sort of European thing. I'm actually going to jump back into uh, Skibbeth's uh, Little France series in a little while. So I'm looking forward to um, getting back with that. Um, Alex, dude, thank you so much for the donation. S-E-K, I'm pff, 
we've had that before, but I can't remember where it was from. Where's it from? I can't remember. But you get into property over here. Alex Falls Did I spell it right? <laughs> Probably not. This apartment block is really filling up. Man, that is, you get some nice views in Marble Mountain, I'll tell you what. In Montana, I should probably say. All right. Um, da, 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 da. Um, are you using Springwood map theme because it looks like you're not? I am. This is, this is Springwood map theme. It's like a pretty old map theme that Ronix made for me bloody two years or something ago. Maybe even longer. It's really nice. It holds pretty strong. Um, okay, so look, I'm trying to think about this, the way, the shape of this river, and then we'll start planning some of the roads. We're not really going to probably do any detail work in this episode. Unless we build a bit and then we move on. Uh, I might ask you guys about that in a little while. What about the airport? It's coming, it's coming, I promise. But not for a while. Alright, so look, I have a, I have a bit of an idea. I'm thinking... And it means it's going to change quite a lot of the way that this river works. But I think we might need this. Uh, I don't really like how straight it is. It's, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel as big when it is just like a straight, uh, straight river like this. I think we can do much better. So I'm thinking that if it has, we have like a big like bay area here, which we have now. I'm thinking that when it gets to this location, I'm thinking, because I hate this, I hate this bridge it's just it sucks it doesn't make any sense to me so I sort of feel like this needs to kind of snake around like that and that way we can extend this road out we can extend these houses I'm thinking that I think I might I'm gonna do it I'm not asking for your permission I'm just gonna do it anyway because that way I think like this whole area over here like, it just doesn't it doesn't make any sense don't like it and then this whole bridge then that way it can kind of be a little bit more like we can change on it we'll have a, we'll have a little go we'll have a go if we totally mess things up we can just press undo and we'll see what happens okie dokes good morning prez good afternoon prez i should be saying <laughs> uh prez i'm going to make some big changes All right, fine. Let's just do it. Ah, oh, hold on. Yaniv. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. Love your channel. Marble Mountain is beautiful. Thanks. I think it's looking really nice at the moment. I'm, I might I might mess it up in a second. <laughs> so we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, but you can have another place in this house here. And I believe that is it. I think we have... This place is all filled up. Yaniv's place. There you go, mate. Thank you for the donation. I think that's it. We might have another spot here. We do. For Mr. Matt. Matt, thanks. Thank you. Build a military base. For real, though, maybe a ghost town <laughs> for an abandoned mining town in the desert would be cool and fit the aesthetic. Or maybe a quarry. You know what? I like both those ideas. I love both those ideas. A quarry. And a ghost town. And I'm going to let you in on a bit of a secret. I'm going to build a military base. But don't tell anyone. This is a bit of a running gag that, you know, people always say, build a military base, build a military base. I'm like, no, no. But I am. It's going to be more like... It's going to be a bit more underground than that, if you know what I'm talking about. But Mr. Matt, thank you for that. You get a an apartment block. And I believe it might be the last one. Thanks, mate. Mr. Matt. Da, 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 da. Do we have one of these? So these ones. We have one more. Vanessa Mack. You are such a legend. Thank you so much. You've been following me for quite a while, and I do really love that. Um, airport should be on the left-hand side of the bridge in the sea on Half Island. So the toll booth will make some sense. That's true. Like, 
like it is faster if you take the toll booth. I would like Terry and Vin Vessa's go <laughs> on one of the Montana City skyscrapers. Thanks. Absolutely, mate. You definitely get that. And thank you so much for the support. I believe you are a Sydney cider as well. I hope you are enjoying... Oh, it's a little bit hazy outside though, isn't it? Hmm, Vanessa, where on earth am I going to put your place? Oh, you, and you know what you want, you want, you want a, you want a business, mate. Well, you get a business. Oh, look, I love this building here. It's one of my favorites. There you go. Thank you so much for the donation. You are a legend. You really are. Cheers. Another one, another one. I challenge you to zone just one building instead of manually placing it as usual. Just want to say I love your city. Dude, thank you so much. Um, all right, if I zone it, then you have to live in it. All right, that's how that works. There you go, there's a bit of a sneak preview. That's gonna be one of my episodes. You can have whatever this building turns into. Ready? Oh. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Better reset the water. Otherwise, it's going to do some really bad stuff. Why isn't it zoning? I've never zoned before. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna come back to that spot. But you can have whatever that building turns into. All right, so <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna look like. It might be one of those like little tiny crappy places. I hope it's not, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, and hello, hello, dude, thank you so much. I love your builds. I've been following since Springwood episode uno. You, my friends, are legend. That is insane. And damn, always impressed, cheers. From France, dude, that's insane. I That was like, three years ago you get this one man are many other people here from from Springwood like that is a long time ago you let's just say that you have the top floor of that one mate thank you so much all right I need to get back to building thank you guys so much for all the donation I really do appreciate that uh, that's amazing that's really really amazing so we need to get back to building. Um, um, oh, that's right. We're about to change everything. <laughs> there is no demand for houses. No, you're right. Look at that. Can you believe that we actually have a demand for offices and industry? Ay, 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 ay. I didn't get this game. Dear God, I'm scared. I look, we can always see so look just for those of you who don't know, we're using uh, like this extra brushes tool. And the beauty behind this is you can actually hit undo. Okay? So you should always use this one. Don't use the game, the vanilla version of uh, the terraforming tools because they they crap, guys. They crap. But don't tell Paradox I said that. So I think that the river needs to do this. Now just bear with me, alright? It's going to make heaps of sense. Dear God, why do I always take on massive projects? Why can't I just, just build something small for once? Oh, okay, then we have to move these. On the other Great, wonderful. Yeah, well, this is great. And uh, then we gotta bulldoze these train line. Uh. See, nothing is just straightforward in this game. Do you guys agree? It's not just like, oh, hey, let's just... Today I'm going to build this road. Nope. Oh, this morning. Oh, I've got an hour. I might just rezone this whole area. And then all of a sudden, it's nighttime and you've spent the entire day completely changing everything. Does anybody else do that? Because that's all I do in this game. There's an F word I'm looking for. Damn it. That's going to be worth it, guys. Now, look, the reason why I'm doing this is because now it's going to make the river do a bit more of a curve. And I think that's going to look more natural. 
it's going to be more impressive. Also, I don't like that you can just sort of look up the river here and pretty much see all that, you know, like now we're going to have a bit more, a bit more exclusivity and you know? it's going to give the impression that the desert is way further away, way further away. How good is that English? So something like this, and then we're going to stop it around there. And then, and the reason why this is much nicer is, and we're gonna have to re bloody zone all this. That's gonna be nuts. But this is going to make way more sense going on a bit more of a journey around here rather than just having a stupid bridge. What was I thinking? Have you guys, do you guys remember the first couple of episodes of Marble Mountain? The city looked so bad, <laughs> like so bad. Uh, it's gonna be nuts. We're making some big changes. But I think it's looking really nice now. You know, doesn't that look beautiful? Love it. Wonderful. What a great job. 45 minutes later. Um, miss Springwood. I miss Springwood too. But you know what? Sometimes you just need to move on. And that's what I felt like. I was like, you know what? And I kept on trying and trying and trying to get that save game open. I was like, you know what? Actually, there's a whole bunch of other things I want to be doing. You know when, you know when like TV shows just like reboot the same thing over and over again. And you're like, ah, oh, I love Star Wars, but the, the last three kind of sucked. It's kind of like that. Like, you know, maybe we just need to, maybe we just need to let Springwood leave it, leave it how it is, with the good memories. Dear God, we're changing everything. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It's gonna be so worth it though. 560 people. What the hell? That is very nice. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're not disappointed. Hmm. All right, let's have a bit of a break on that. Nero with the five euros. Thank you so much. Hello from Manchester, UK. Call an area Manx after the island of Man. Hmm. Cool fact. Manx. Manx? Marx? Marx? Manx. Marx. Used to be a language um, deriving from Celtic. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Thanks, a uni student. Dude, thank you. I really appreciate that. Five euros from a uni from a uni student. It's like a big bloody deal. I remember that. How about an area? Well, you know what? We do need. We do have a couple of areas that need names. Now that we've just bloody created a whole another suburb over here, then you know we do actually um we could easily name that area Manx. But I wonder what sort of a place it's going to be. I'm actually, you know what? Do you want to have one of these ones? I know it says multiple problems, ignore that, Nero. It's actually a really nice place. Been saving it just for you. Thanks, man. Let's um let's imagine that you've got a place right up here. Actually, you know, those houses, like that apartment would just be beautiful. Some really nice spots. Some of these vanilla places are just awesome. They're so nice looking. Um, and Alex, dude, again, build a huge shit pit in the middle of town. Uh, a shit pit. Now, what on earth is that? Oh, do you mean a, like a water sewage treatment facility? Well, if I did that, wouldn't everybody just hate it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I think people would just absolutely hate it. Thank you for that. I appreciate the money. I appreciate the support. Hmm... A water park would be awesome. So this was, people have suggested a water park a couple of times now. I don't know how to build it though. Like, how do you build a water park? I don't really know how to build a water park. Yeah, with all this, with all this, 
with all this terraform, the whole wa- whole city will become a um, water park for sure. Uh, look, here's, here's a bit of a trick. I don't know if you guys know this, but... Uh, all right, so if I was to press play, and after all those changes I just made, all the water's going to go, like, absolutely nuts. But if you use the extra landscape features, look at this. Floods, hit reset to sea level, and we can just get it back to normal. Uh, you have to hit it a couple of times because there are waves. And there, back to normal. So I, I do that a lot. But yeah, we do have a bit of waves. That's a sound. That's a sound of uh that's a sound of waves, by the way. Um made its 10 period. I did not sleep at all yesterday to watch a car race. Oh. Another person talking about cars. See, this is just I think people who play City Skylands also. There's like a crossover. Okay, I think that's looking way better. I'm gonna probably extend that a little bit more. And then that way, I think the train line, and then I want to figure out whether, then we're going to start talking about where the airport's going to go. Just talking about it. Okay. Don't freak out. That's cheating. No, it's not cheating. <laughs> I don't know if you're joking or not, but there's no such thing as cheating in this game. You either play with mods or you don't play with mods. And in my opinion, the game's so broken that I'd much rather play mods than than watch the city do what it's meant to be doing. Because I feel like the city's uh, like the game hasn't worked properly for ages. And plus, when you get to like forty five thousand, it um, you know, the city's not it's not doing what it should be doing. That being said, I do try to make sure we have a bit of a profit will aim towards making a profit. Yes, we're looking at minus 46,000 at the moment, I know. But eventually, eventually, we will. Mark my words. We will make money. Dear God. <sighs> um, if you reset to sea level, um, it fills in all your under passes and tunnels yes only if you go under um, if you could go below sea level so this is not below sea level oh okay yep I see what's going on here uh, we disconnected the power we'll get you back all right it's just <laughs> I know that doesn't matter but for some reason like I hate the way that looks um, James Atlas, thank you very much. Donations for the future flood victims. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. Well, you know what? Because we do... Look, let's get you away from the flood. Let's get you nice, nice and up in the trees. James Atlas. There's your property, my friend. Thank you for the donation. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do something. It doesn't really make much sense that you're... That's better. Now all your windows are facing. That's better. Look at that. Look at that beautiful mountain we just created. Wonderful. All right. I'm going to connect everything back up because it kills me. Like, I know it doesn't matter. Because, like, we're playing with mods and all that. But... I hate knowing that my... That my citizens are struggling without water and power. Now, no one freak out, but I'm just going to drag A. Right, this is temporary. All this is so temporary at the moment. This might end up being a really big stream. Oh, yeah, lovely. Wonderful. Yep. Wonderful. Yep. That's it. Connect. We should probably put some more water. And we're just going to pop it over here. So temporary, you guys. Don't even think about it. Don't even worry about it. It's not a big deal. There we go. And we'll just connect this guy back up. Better get some power over here as well. Oh boy, that's not good. 
Okay. We'll fix all that up when... When we finish doing all this stuff, all right? Let's just see how this goes. Come on. That's better. That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing to complain about. It's all good. All good. I don't think these complaints ever disappear. They just stay forever and ever and ever. That's just what happens. Um, hello, once again. Such a dark night here in Europe. My eyes are bleeding. Can I ask for a house somewhere near the National Park? I'm probably going to leave soon. I have to sleep. You do need to sleep and hello. Thank you so much. I will definitely give you a house near the National Park. I'm going to stay down to the ground. Very carefully avoiding all spoilers. Uh, the river is dry, by the way, because I just I just reset the, the land. The water, sorry. Near the National Park. Where would I put you? Now we do have these ones here. It's right next to the train line, which might be nice. Oh, this guy's got a bit of a... Oh, that guy's already got a place. Um, hmm. I'm trying to give you a nice spot. Like a nice house. You want to see something nice. Do you want a farm? A farm would be nice, wouldn't it? No, I did not give, on, give up and... <laughs> Don't swear. Uh, Sichuan province. Nah, that's uh, that's uh, this weekend. Not this weekend. This week. Here you go. Right next, right next to it. It's actually right next to the zoo as well, which I think would be quite nice. I'm gonna call it your farmhouse. You've got you've got some property in this place, mate. You've got a place in the city and you've got a place in Copper Falls. Like how nice is that? Man guys, there is so many bloody spoilers back over here. It's just it's insane. It's so insane. <laughs> it's like I've done so much work in Mullen Mountain. And this is just like another big change that I've just done. Dear God. Alright. I'm loving these changes, by the way. So this is gonna go all the way around here now, and then we'll do a, um, a train line over here. This is going to be now a much bigger and much grander looking bridge. We'll have to, we might even have to get a custom bridge. See what I mean? We're like, you don't just, you don't just change a little thing in City Skylines. You have to change big things all the time. Hmm. So now that we've got this, I think this road should still probably snake around to this, but I also think that this, hmm, that's interesting. Oh, you know what would be really cool? For this train line to actually hug the river around here. So it's like right, right on the river. So we might even make that the edge of the river. So let's actually use that train line. Mm, yeah, we'll turn this on. And that looks good, but we might need to do that. All right, so let's give this a go. So it's going to be really high up, but we'll use Merbit to drag it down. Yeah, okay. All right, don't stress. So this would be cool. So if it's like a... Yeah. I think that's going to be great. Now, we are getting like... I know we're sort of close to the downtown, but we're going to treat this as a bit further out of the downtown. I hate it when it does that. It's pretty windy. It's windy. Hmm, now do I connect it up here or does it cross the river? It probably should cross the river, right? Probably should. What do you guys think about that? Does that kill you? Because that kills me. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to change that. Uh, whoa, now. Hmm. That makes more sense, like, realism-wise. I'm just trying to think of where that bridge should sit now. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Hello. Thank you so much. I love it. Love your work. Keep up the beautiful work. Good night. Good night, my friend. Thank you so much for those all those donations. You're a true legend. Yeah, thank you so much. 
Um, yes, and this it's awful news to hear about. Um, is it Kobe? I don't, I don't I, like. I've literally just woken up and just found out, and um, yeah, it seems really sad. You guys have a lot of got a lot of people, a lot of people sad this morning. Um, but I don't actually know who he is. All right, so let's fix this up. This is bad. This is really, really bad. That's better. All right, we'll drag that down. Probably shouldn't get too hung up on all these things because... This is a good chance we're gonna change a lot of these things. And you know what? Now that we have all this space, maybe now we need to then... Um, Maybe this is where like the, the movie studio goes, you know, close to the downtown. I think that'll probably make more sense. I don't know, what are you thinking about these changes far out? Man, big episode. He's a basketball player, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, that's that's really sad. Um, do a bridge like fourth bridge in Edinburgh. I might have to check that place out. Oh, and his daughter died as well. Far out. That's so bad. When did all this happen? Hey, from London. I'm a teacher, so near a school? Ooh. Absolutely. I'm a teacher as well. I have to go back to work tomorrow. I really don't want to. You sure you want to be next to a school? I actually can't think of anything worse. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is be close to a school. But I'll give it to you. What about a library? No, these these houses aren't very nice. Close to a school. <laughs> Where are all my schools at? Actually, I saw one the other day. I saw, a, I saw a school in Marble Mountain the other day. Where was it? No, you don't want to be around there. Ah, right, here they are. I mean, there's a couple of... Oh, it's pretty bad over here. Oh, but this place. This place is kind of nice. Yes, we'll give you this one. Here you go, Adam Smith. Oh, not Smythe. Smith, that's better. Awesome. Thank you so much for the donation, mate. Much appreciated. <laughs> uh, six, seven hours ago. Yeah. Uh, when are you going to start the Las Vegas city? Um, maybe like in five years. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, probably not for a while. I would like, there's so much I want to do in this project. Like, and I keep on going like, oh, I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna build this. And I do an episode where I like, change the river. <laughs> uh, it's nuts. Uh, but, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be so worth it. Is he playing vanilla? I'm playing kind of vanilla and kind of not vanilla. What do I teach? Um, I'm a primary school teacher, which means I teach everything. But um, I do a lot of stuff with technology. It's kind of my thing. Uh, art museum area on the riverbank, like, um, that would be quite cool. I do already have like a museum and art area, but we, that would be quite cool. Um, oh, thank you, hello. <laughs> yeah. We'll fix that. That we'll fix that up. I promise. I promise. Yeah, I think the piers. Uh, I was going for like a um, like a San Francisco vibe. So I'm glad you. I'm glad you're feeling that too. See this. Um, see this ferry terminal as well. So we got two. We got one here. And we got one here. Nobody uses it because it's like this is nowhere, and you know where are they going to go? So this is going to be really cool when we actually have some more um, ferry terminals around here. 
All right, I'm gonna let's let's finish this up. Let's finish the terraforming, and then we'll get drag some roads around. Um, no, I said we're gonna do the bloody. We'll figure out where the airport is. We're gonna do that together. I promise. We're gonna do that in. Can someone set a timer? Five more minutes of this river, and then we're going to do where we're gonna figure out where the airport's gonna go. So I'm gonna do this. So it's more like a headland. I think that over here there should be some sort of lower. Let's actually find how low this one is. And we'll do that. Oh, it's pretty close. I reckon that will be some kind of like dock or power station. So they're kind of in similar areas, but this is going to be like the main one. And then this needs to come out a little bit, I think, so that the bridge has a reason why it's there. And all this needs to be much lower because that is actually pretty, um, like that's not going to be nice to work with. So let's get that a little bit lower. All this planning guys, see this is the sort of stuff that you have to really think about before going into projects because otherwise you tend to change your mind. And I, I'm pretty guilty of that. Man, check out how Man, that is a huge difference. Might have to turn this into a whole episode as well. Yeah, and this is what I thought. Like, look at that. That is pretty... Like, I was never going to be able to work with that. This whole area is desperately needing some terraforming. Like, this... <laughs> look at this. That makes just no sense. We really need to change that up. So, I'm just going to... I'm gonna do this. We'll probably have like multiple hills around here. Dear God, this is insane. All right, that's better. And I think that should probably be around here. Now look how big this mountain is gonna be. So this would probably make a bit of sense if this mountain sort of like came around here so they gave a bit of a reason why they're... What's down there? Oh, of course. I might just leave that for the time being. Yeah, all right. Uh, so I think that'll make more sense for the headlands to kind of come out where the mountains... So it's a bit of a mountain range. So this mountain range is all part of this. We'll have to give this a name. If anyone wants a name, or even as a name for this mountain range, then um, yeah, let me know. Then we might actually turn it into a park. Let's get rid of this. And because we do have so many mountains around here, we have to be careful about where we put the airports. We can't like, we can't put the airport where there is all this. I'm going to flatten all this at the moment, but it's going to be quite hilly. So, I mean, that gave the illusion before that there was going to be, um, you know, that was going to be like a really easy, oh, just drag some roads around here and we'll call it a day. But like, that was never going to be the case. I think we could probably extend this out. Man, we're giving ourselves so much more room. So we'll have to change where that train line goes, I think. Uh, and this probably extend out a little bit further. How good would that be? All right. And the river. Now we are really starting to make some progress with this guy. Oh, let's put this out a little bit further. So that can be a bit of a extended bit. Now oh, we'll change that, don't you worry. And... Let's just do this. Just a little bit more. There's like a real nice bend in it. And then it gets really narrow around here. How's all this talk, by the way? <laughs> just like verbal diarrhea. You kind of got to be when you do these live streams. Just to let you know what I'm thinking. And I still really want to put that island. Like even something like that, you know? You know what I mean? Not too big, you idiot. Well, autosave. I disabled autosave. I disabled autosave. Actually, it's been disabled for like three years, two years, whatever. But it used to crash my game. And then... And then I was doing heaps of work and my game crashed. And I lost like two hours worth of work. Have you guys ever done that? So It's like soul destroying. So my soul was destroyed. And then... 
I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to turn this back on. So I'm not really used to it. Surely that's happened to you guys. I hate that. Um, and I think, I think we, we need to actually make this just a little bit further out. Maybe that's where the island should go. Yeah. I don't want to put anything too far out this way because that's kind of like the edge of the map. Hmm. We're just going to sit on that for a bit. We'll see how that goes. Ah, oh, Grey Flame, thank you so much. Got to run in a bit, but digging in, dig, but digging the stream. Thank you. I don't know why I thought it was digging in the stream. Um, I'm sure the VOD will work, um, will rock. Have you ever used CSL to teach something in the classroom? That is something that I've been um, thinking about doing for a really long time. Uh, yeah, because I'm actually doing like a whole, like a whole unit on, on like cities and stuff. Actually, you'll be surprised how much I squeeze in cities into my teaching. <laughs> it just so happens to be like the topic of a lot of things. But thank you so much for the support. You should not be the one who's sending me money, mate, because you actually have created so many fantastic uh, rock collections. So if anyone anyone should is interested in like amping up their rock collection, Grey Flame has released a whole bunch of really fantastic rocks on the workshop. And this is what they look like. I actually haven't even tested out the Marble Mountain ones that you've created. So these, I don't believe these ones are the Marble Mountain ones. No, they're the arid ones. I think these are the ones. Yeah, they're beautiful. They're amazing. So thank you so much for creating these. Uh, next episode, I actually use them a fair bit and uh, amazing amazing so if anyone is interested in grabbing some of these you should totally do it they're so much better than the base vanilla versions version of rocks uh i'm actually going to redo a whole bunch of the ones that i created ages ago so um yeah you guys should go and check them out great flame on the workshop yeah amazing yeah can't wait to use them thank you for the donation you should not be donating anything um actually i think i if I'm going to give you any sort of property, I think it should be like part of the national park, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, da, 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 da. It's been five minutes. You're right. Okay. Let's talk airport. Let's talk airport. Island needs to be bigger. Yeah, I agree. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. So, Vanessa was talking about a airport potentially sitting around here, which I really love the idea. The only drama with that is that it is really, really close to the edge of the map. And I I can't go too far over this way. I mean, I think this would be the would make the most sense for the airport. Um, even potentially over here might be a good spot for the airport. Um, I just worry about putting too much detail work around these areas, mostly because they like they can get a bit gobbled up with this um, and ten and i generally use uh the clouds to toggle i sort of toggle on and off the clouds quite a lot but i also don't so i don't know i'm a bit hesitant to build something too far over this way but i could i could i could change my mind uh i was sort of thinking somewhere around here but there are a bunch of mountains i don't know what do you guys think um, I'm going to stop building just for a sec and I'm going to focus a bit more on the chat, which I should, probably should be doing. So if you guys have any suggestions of whereabouts I should put the airport, I'm thinking I'm going to use, I might use this as a bit of a guideline. So we could do something like here. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be using... I'm thinking about this. So you guys are getting a really good insight to into what I'm thinking for the airport. So we, I've, I've downloaded. So I actually don't mind this airport. Okay, like I don't like. Bear with me. Bear with me, uh, because the vanilla airports suck. But I'm sort of thinking of using. Ah, oh, did I not? I've unsubscribed from it. Gosh. Oh, here it is. Good. 
<laughs> so I'm thinking about using this. So this is the van this is the vanilla international one. It's not it's not fantastic. It's not great, but it's sort of it's sort of fine. Um, and then I was gonna drag my own roads for it. So I was thinking like potentially something like this, but I I could I'm I'm easily I'm easily convinced otherwise. Uh, I don't think around here, just because I want this to be like very nice national park. So we could have the airport here, which like, you know, none of this is set in stone. I could actually have like a full on airport right there. So coastline over here, like I know it's a bit hard to tell me whereabouts I should be putting it. What do you think? And I guess as well, wherever we put the airport, it's going to influence the sort of area we're gonna be doing. So if you're gonna be putting an airport, then this has to be the outskirts of the city. Uh, this can't be near any of the nice like uh higher higher the wealthier people they don't want to live next to an airport uh what's up little b thanks for that uh, why are you calling me that don't come to my live stream and call me a b what subject do i teach all of them primary school um, along the river across the across from Bayview might be interesting. I live in in Philadelphia and the airport I'd right and the airport is right on the river. Yeah, okay. So potentially maybe the airport is right on this river. Like maybe I need to get a little bit closer to here. That's an idea. So maybe like the airstrip is there. That could be a good one. That's an idea. First position, like here. Below of Crescent, here, just here. I think it's too close to the downtown. I think it needs to be across the river, potentially. In the desert, uh, I kind of want to leave the desert for desert stuff, like right out of the city. I want you know, this to feel like it's out of the city, but it's also, you know, I think we need the airport to be close to the city. Not on the coast, closer to the water, best channel to be honest. Thank you very much. Yeah, I agree, Gator. Who is calling me that name? It's because we've got 500 people watching at the moment. Almost 600 people watching. I usually have about half of that. Make it as an island. I just, I don't know how I think we'll need way more room if we're going to make it an island. Yeah, so you guys are thinking about this position. I wasn't thinking about this before, but that that would be a pretty good spot for it, to be honest. This would be a good spot because, and maybe like a little bit closer, but if this was here, so hear me out and let me know what you think. If I was to put it somewhere like this and we're like, it's kind of around here, it doesn't have to be exactly here. But if it was around here, then... The planes could land over the water, which would be great. We would also be going out of the city, so it would be on the outskirts of the city, which makes more sense. If we put it here, it means then, I think next to the river is kind of in a bit more of a realistic location. Look at that. <laughs> that looks so bad. Uh, and I think this will be like a really easy to manage location. So. What do you think? I think this is probably not a good spot for it. Also, what do you think about my choice in airport? Like the terminal, or do I just make a completely, a complete vanilla one as oh, a complete custom one? Also the train line, I think that'd be a good spot. You know, then the train would be getting some cargo coming in. Um, I know that is Vulcan, not water in a glass. Well, don't tell anyone. <laughs> it's water, goddammit. I actually need another coffee. We've been streaming for an hour and 20. If I was to go make a coffee in like five minutes, it would take about five minutes to make. Would you guys stick around? keen for another coffee and just to stretch my legs and then I want to be back for like another hour I will be back for an hour uh, you like the river good uh, look at the look at London City Airports 
uh, with the terminal on land, but the runway over water, okay, that might be a good one. I haven't actually taken much inspiration from London yet, so that would be pretty good. Gator wants a custom airport. Yeah, okay, I think we might do a custom one. Oh, a ferry stop next to the airport. That would be so cool. Do a poll? Yeah, I probably should do a poll. I, I know there's like online poll things, but I can't bother. We'll just get, I'm just going to get a general idea. Should we do a poll? Why can't I do polls in this? I should be able to do polls in this, right? That's ridiculous. How can I not do a poll in this? I think I can do polls. All right, hold on. Let me... Um... Duh, 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 duh. Do you guys know a good website where I can do a custom, where I can do like a poll? But I think this is where I'm going to put it because I think this would actually make the most sense. And this would be a great location. Then we have a ferry terminal. I actually kind of want to have like a, a a tram line coming out this way too, like the metro. I think that'd be really cool. It's super late in Europe. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh... Tokyo Airport has a runway on the wall, on the ocean. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, take a break and do a poll. All right, I might take a quick break. I have 560 people watching. I don't expect you all to stick around, but I'm gonna go on like a five minute break. It's not really a break. It's me to like stand up, make a quick coffee, come back. I should probably actually, no, let's let's get a poll going. Let's get a poll going. Straw poll? Alright. That better not be porn. Um, I want one more option though for before I put down where I think I should put the airport. Let's have a couple of options. So we'll do option A. Um, I've decided making a poll by the way. So thank you for that. That's option A. Um, let's put one over here. Like this is rough, okay? So this is not um. Option B, option B. So if it was to go here, then the runway would be right over the water. This whole headland would be like, you know, changed and stuff. It might make like a really good, uh, might be like a great, like that would actually be pretty cool if there's an airport there. That'd actually be pretty cool. So we could put it there um, and save this whole area for other sort of stuff. And that way it's over the water. Uh, the only drama, I guess, is that massive mountain. <laughs> uh, so maybe we'll have to like figure out where that would go. So that could be a good spot next to the highway. There's also trains around here. The light rail is pretty close. We could actually extend out this line. So B could be a position. Um, or let's do C. Ah. Oh. Sanguineti Media. I did not pronounce that correctly but just became a patron. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Hey, you can actually get to watch the new Citron Province episode. It's actually sitting up on my Patreon page right now. You get to watch it right now. And Yaniv as well. Yaniv, thank you. You also get to watch that episode. Hope you enjoy it. It's pretty fun. It's a good one, actually. And maybe around here, like out of the city. We'll put this one as option C. Are there any other options for the airport? Yeah, put, you can put your thing in here, but I'm going to put a poll. Okay, just created the poll, copied... Did I do that correctly? K 
can you guys is it is it working okay there we go i think it's working let me know if it's working uh so there's the poll i um yeah we have three options we have b run in the ocean we have a on the river runways around here I think that'd be quite cool. C, it would be out of the city. Doesn't have to be exactly this location, but it could just be out of the city. Um, that could also be a really fun area. We're not gonna build it today, so don't, <laughs> don't get too excited. I've only done like this much. Totally wrecked everything in, in this episode. But man, I think it's looking, it's gonna look sick. Like look at all this. Just makes, uh, it just makes it look so much cooler. Especially when we get some like decent buildings around here. This mountain's gonna be pushed back. Montana's gonna spread out. I think Montana's gonna be about like this big now. Dear God, we've done so much. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and make a coffee. I'll be back in five minutes, I promise. Vote in the meantime. B is winning. B is winning. That is very surprising. Wait, hold on. Great, now I can't even see the... Alright. I'm gonna go make a coffee. I'll be back in five minutes. I promise. Okay. Alright guys, I will see you uh, in five minutes. Uh, hang tight, be good. Will, if you're still around. Make sure nobody says anything naughty. Keep it nice. All right, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Be right back.
Okay, I am back. I'm back. What did I miss? What's winning? I'm winning with my coffee. Alright, let's have a look at that poll. Uh, refresh. B! Wow, we. I did not expect that. That is mind blowing. Kind of exciting. Like, that's great. This would actually be a really good spot for an airport. Um, I'm not finished with the poll. I'm gonna give it like maybe like five more minutes. So if you guys are interested in voting for whereabouts we're gonna put the airport, it's either gonna be A, which is on the river, C, which is like out of the city, or B, over here on the ocean. A and B, I mean, they're both fantastic options, to be honest. This would be a really good spot for it. I think it um, opens up a lot. It also means that we have way more space to play around here. It means that we can actually maybe more focus on some of the wealthier neighborhoods around this area, whereas um, we probably couldn't have done that with that. Uh, we still could have a ferry terminal f terminal over here, and there is really great access with the highway already. Uh, the light rail is already over here, so we could just drag that over a little bit further. Possibilities. But we're not even there yet. We might even choose A. So we'll see how we go. Hey, you guys asked for a poll. <laughs> I almost chose A, but... A lot of people wanted to um, wanted to pull it out. A lot of people want B. That's great. It's a really good spot. It's a great spot. Okie dokes. So while we're doing that, I think we should probably keep on looking at all this terraforming. Uh, so basically, like my way of sort of planning out all. I have to, oh yeah, I'll leave that. Uh, so my way of planning out all this is like trying to figure out where the highway is going to go and like what the sort of land's going to look like. It makes such a big, like landscape is huge in this in this series. So we've got to be really, really careful. Now this side's not going to be as hilly, as mountainous as this area. But I mean, this is like the base of Marble Mountain. So we don't, we're going to have like a lot of hills around here. So this, this side's not going to have too many. We're going to be doing um, a lot less, which is good because they're kind of nuts. But there's still going to be this massive mountain range here. Which, if you would like a mountain range named after you, then let me know. And we might even do that. We do have a mountain range that's going to spread all the way across here. Na, 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 na. And there's going to be some headlands. It's going to be beautiful. I like this position of the islands too. I love that this train line now snakes around here. This is good, 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 good work. Uh, yeah, airports are big FPS killers. That's the only drama. So I guess placing it over here would be nice because it's kind of out of the city. Uh, the reason why, and I didn't expect this, and this is just like a bit of a tip, but I um, 
when I first started up the series, I was like, great, if I just go vanilla assets or like, you know, pretty much vanilla assets, it's, um, it will, it won't like the frame rates can be pretty nice. I think what really kills the frame rate in this city is how dense it is. Uh, I, I need more spaces like this. So if you ever want to keep a good FPS, make lots of parks, make lots of spaces with nothing in it, because as soon as you start placing down buildings, uh, and if they're really, really dense together, then that's when you will lose FPS. You know, because if I go to places like this, my FPS increases because I have open space, which makes sense. So that's what I um, I highly suggest doing that. You know, places around here as well, like because it's so dense with props, FPS is pretty bad. So I think over here, I'm gonna try and keep things a little bit more open, which I think would be much um, much nicer. All right, I reckon one more minute with the poll. Gator the God, you're doing a great job at being moderator. Keep the language nice, please, to those those people. Or else you'd have to leave. Dual airports, jeez, <laughs> I can't have two. No way. That'd be nuts. Thirty seconds, and then the poll's finished. Second airports for the Vegas area. I'm sort of thinking that, to be honest. Wouldn't that be cool to have like a? By the way, this is where a bit of power around here. Uh, but I, yeah. So when I do make Vegas or like my version of Vegas, it's going to be much, much smaller. It's going to be tiny. It's going to be like, I mean, not tiny, but like definitely not big uh so it's gonna be like around here and we'll change this highway to a main like a much bigger highway than this and yeah i'm sort of thinking maybe an airport around here <laughs> that'd be pretty cool do planes travel from like city to city via the airports i don't know or is it just uh interstate i don't really know an executive airport that would be so fun that would be really cool actually A big canyon oh mate that's coming that's definitely gonna come all right let's check out this poll where are we putting this airport it's back to a <laughs> oh what is it gonna be what is it going to be guys is it a is that what we're going for one by two votes is that it oh we're back to b ah oh, this is killer this is killer all right Official, we're going to close the poll. Can I make a, um, can I make it so that it's deadline? Oh, here we go, deadline. All right. I've just made a deadline, five minutes. All right, I'm gonna keep it open for five more minutes <laughs> just because people, uh, because people are just, I think people are very divided. Both areas are great. I know it's a tie at the moment. Somebody, more people vote, please. It's gonna be, I can't just have it as a bloody coin flip. Yeah, we might have to. <laughs> They're both great areas, all right? I want people to just like downvote the video because they don't like where the airport is. Um, all right, I'm just sort of thinking about a couple of things. Damn, I make good coffee. All right, where am I going to put the next train crossing? So where are the bridges? That bridge is definitely going to sit there, but it's going to be a different bridge. Because that bridge sort of sucks. And I think that it needs to have, it probably need, eventually it'll need to be a highway, but that's a whole episode. I'm not going to do that in this episode. Oh, one of these guys, can you be a, Please. Too high. Give me a break. Or maybe you don't. 27 meters. Far out. Too. Come on. Okay. You can't make bridges. I get it. You can't make bridges. You can, though. 
good for you. So this will extend out. Ah, oh, we're going to choose a totally different bridge. This bridge is not nice. Yeah, because this bridge has to be like pretty, um, like it almost has to be a highway. Actually, you know what? We're going to make this into a highway. Oh, what is going on? Oh, that is so much higher up. I think this needs to be the same height as over here. Like even that's a massive, like that's high up. What's the difference? Far out. That is <laughs> such a big difference. All right, that's better. Do you see why we make things so temporary? Otherwise, um, I mean, how often have you seen me change my mind about things? Always plan straight slopes. Ah, that's nice, isn't it? There we go. And that can be the new height, like that. And all this will be a bit raised. But I want around here to be quite, I mean, even that's pretty, it's still pretty high. Okay, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's more tense than a presidential election. Yeah. Don't worry, both, both spots are great. Guys, it's still a tie. It's still a tie. Come on. <laughs> The deadline is 1 minute 30 seconds. <laughs> this is so nuts. Has everyone in this chat uh, voted? If you're watching we've if you're watching this muted, unmute the video. <laughs> vote for the vote for the airport location so I can start planning the next area. No, I'm not doing two airports guys. I can't. Be too nuts. Be too much space. You're lucky to get one. Oh, this would be a great location. Right on the water, beach sides. We'll extend this out a whole bunch. Be a good spot. But then this spot would be great as well. Look at this. Look how nice this area is. All right, how much time do we have? 30 seconds. Well, actually I'm saying this, but at the same time, there's like a 30 second delay on my video, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how, oh. Do, 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 do. Ba, da, ba, 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 da, 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 da. Almost there. What are the locations? Here or here? But mind you, that's not gonna make any difference because there's a bit of a delay. <laughs> Please build both. I can't, I can't build both. It's too big, too many. All right, I believe the winner is B. B, 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 B. Which is good. I like that spot. Nobody should be disappointed because the airport is coming. How can I show it? All right, it's finished. B is where we're going to be building the airport. <laughs> That's the sound of deleting this airport, by the way. But we will have multiple airports, okay? Just hear me right now. There will be multiple airports, but only one international one, only one big one. Well, let's not make that there. So we will actually have a couple, and um, I do believe it would be kind of cool to have, like, a massive house with a private airport. Like, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be just kind of nuts? We do have one all the way out in the sticks, out in um, Chinchilla. There is another airport out there, but it's abandoned. But if we were to put one here, which I'm probably not going to do any terraforming just yet, but if it was here, 
Now that would be a really great location. Like, can you imagine coming around here, around the bends, and then you just see, whoop, okay, saving, that's better. And you just see like planes landing around here. That would be so cool. And you'd go from like, you know, maybe like little coastal towns, you know, just very small, um, you know, uh, oceanside villages. And then you'd like start seeing like the tops of Montana over here and you can see some planes landing. I think that actually would be quite good. We do have to be careful of the mountain. <laughs> you know, we'll have to like figure out how this looks. Yeah. So there might have to be landing this way. But that's good. I think that's a good spot. I was actually thinking about what we're going to do around here because these roads sort of like I had no idea what to put here. So that's actually going to make a bit of sense. So great. So we'll do that. But now that we figured that out, now the airport's not going to go over here. So we might keep this as a pretty ritzy, nice area. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some nice mansions around here. Not today. Well, I might do like a whole episode where I do like just all the road layouts and stuff. I think that'd be really cool. Austin, thank you so much for $2.20. Love your content. Keep up the great work. I really appreciate that. Thanks, mate. Um, I'm going to give you... Do you want an apartment or do you want a townhouse? You know what? I'm going to give you a townhouse. I'm pretty sure Tim... There, the Tim Meister. Do you want to live right next to the Tim Meister? You definitely do. That guy is such a legend. Austin... That's your place, my friend. Thank you for the donation. Always love when people donate $2.20. <laughs> uh, I couldn't have, couldn't have chosen a better name, right? That's a good spot as well, right? Beautiful. So, I'm really loving the layout of this, of this whole area. Of course, it's going to change a little bit as we drag road around and figure that all out. Coffee is finished. Um, what computer do you use for the game to run? So check out my description. My components are all in there. Um, who keeps spanning about the Firth or Fourth Bridge? Uh, I don't know, but I missed it. So they might, I might need to be um, keeping a better eye on the chat. Careful. So um, the bridges, I think we have enough bridges. We have one here, we have one here, and we have this one, which is going to be out of town. Like this is out. We're not worried too much about this one. So I think that this one needs to be a highway. We're going to make it, this into a highway. At the moment, it's just a avenue. Now, around here, I think there's going to need to be some sort of big interchange. What do I have in terms of interchanges? Too big, too big, too big, too big. Not bad. Is that it? That's all I've got. I don't want to make a custom one. They're annoying. Okay. So we're going to have to do some sort of highway that goes in here. Now, I can't. Now, this is the tricky part. There's going to be a highway going through here. Is it going to go through the middle? Or is it going to be like a middle of the town or like of, of this, this area? Or is it going to be on the outskirts? Like, I don't know. What do you think? Is it going to go down the heart of the town, of this um, this side, like all the way through here? Or maybe it actually hugs the river. Hmm, interesting. Let me know. Should we hug the river in terms of the highway so that it goes through where like the, kind of a bit like this, you know, where it goes where, um, you know, this will be where the marina is. And I think a bit, a little bit of industry, there'll be the power station somewhere around, maybe like there. And come around like that that might be cool or maybe goes around where the mountain is or goes through the heart don't know heart river mountain heart river or mountain you decide ding dong ding dong ding dong i've always enjoyed your city builds awesome work thank you so much darwin that's that's amazing thank you um i really love creating these videos mates i really do i'm gonna give you a house php can you please remind me where php what's the currency of php Where would you like to live? Mate, let's put you up here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give you a business instead. Imagine if we fill up the entire city with actual real people living in this place. Darwin's investments. 
Congratulations, you own a business in Marble Mountain. Nice spot. So next time I do a driving video, next time you see me playing and you see this building, you're going to be like, that's mine. I own that. Right next to the casino. So be careful about that. So you're telling me another poll? No, I'm not doing another poll. <laughs> this is like, I just want your opinions. Don't divide the city. I agree. I don't think we should divide it. Has someone disliked this video? How dare them? Is it the Philippines? Is that where PHP is? I think it might be. Close to the mountain. A tunnel. I don't like tunnels because they hide all of the great details. I think it's better to, to show it. Plus, if you do a driving video, then you won't be able to see it. Um, okay, I think it's going to be between the river or the mountain. Now, like I said before, we do have, we're trying to like do things differently over the side. If we go along the mountain, we already, ha we sort of have that. You know what I mean? We do already have that. Well, that, we do have a tunnel there as well. What a hypocrite. What a hypocrite. Or maybe it does both. So maybe when it comes around here, it goes along there, drags around here, and then maybe it snakes up through here through the heart and then goes along the mountain range, like this mountain range. Should we do all of it? Let's do all of it. If I've learned anything from polls, just do it all. All right, so let's get, let's do a little bit of that. I think this area is not going to be as, as massive as the other one. We're going to do all of it. We're going to do all of them. So let's have a look. Now, none of this is set in stone, by the way, kids. We are just going to be doing this as like a bit of a, you know, we'll see how this looks. Now, which one? Man, these roads by, I think it's Cluse. Or, yeah, it must be Cluse. These roads are so effing awesome. Like, look at these. They're so nice. Way better than the vanilla ones. And the really cool thing about these ones is that, I want to show you something, by the way. Let's just have a look at this. All right, check this out. So you saw this really great thing. So you got this. Um, you've got two versions. You've got the barrier version and then you have the non-barrier version. Now look at this. So if you change it, so you're using uh, this mod here, which is, I think it's Road Anarchy or something like that. Uh, if you change, I think if you change this one to Raised, then it puts a barrier. And then if you put it to Ground, you just got no barriers. And I think if you change it to Bridge, Bridges both sides with uh, like the railing. And then if you go tunnel, it does nothing. <laughs> but then this one, I'm pretty sure if you go, yeah, it just looks so good. Bridge, what's bridge? Oh, is, did I place it on the same road? No, I don't know. One of them, there's a raised bit. There we go. There, man, that looks so good. He killed it. He killed it. So good. Patrick, thank you so much, mate. Here's two dollars twenty. <laughs> thank you. Wait, where's SEK? I'm not sure. I've, actually, I, I keep getting, I keep in the same places, like same donations, like same um, currency, and I always forget where they're from. Thanks, Patrick. I'm gonna give you a, a property right here, my friend. Oh, pardon me. Actually, I know I'm going to copy your name so that I get the right. I want to see the Skylines will recognize the... Ah, oh, how good is that? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the $2.20. Um, and, oh, thank you. EC1742. Been watching your videos for a while now, and I think they are amazing. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, mate. That's awesome. Do you want a business? You get a business. How about this one? I'm going to call it... Oh, they're apartments. Nah, let's give you a business. How about this guy? How about, let's give you this. Right next to the hospital.
There we go. Incorporated. Thank you so much for the Euros. Yeah, man. These, these roads are so sick. They're great. So I'm going to use them. But I think I might use the elevated version of them. Actually, I might use both. Because that way we can actually have a bit of both. So I'm trying to do the best of both worlds, if you haven't realized. Uh, now, do I want them to be that close together? No, I kind of want them to be a little bit far apart. Let's do 16. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll make a change. We'll make a change as it goes along. Now, none of this is set in stone. Hold on, what's going on here? Why is one of them... All right, we gotta change something here. Barrier version. I want both barrier versions. That's better. Yeah, and we'll think we'll make them touch. We'll make them that close. They're really close. So, I think that it'd be really cool if... And I'm gonna put down some very temporary temporary roads so no one freak balls they're just they're just temporary i want this to be very nature very nice maybe like some sort of i don't know something something nice you know what i mean you know what i mean saying really nice so i'm gonna put like this no bridges no i meant no tunnels i know i said bridges but i meant no tunnels <sighs> Goodbye. Fine. I'm going to delete this that I made. Do you guys play mostly vanilla or do you play with mods? Or is it a bit of both? Because I am... I'm enjoying less mods at the moment. I know I'm using a lot of mods. I should say I'm enjoying less assets. Keeping things somewhat vanilla-esque. I don't know why. I just, I, I'm just really enjoying it. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the challenge. I think Marble Mountain's like the perfect, perfect level of custom assets and stuff. Um, now this would be on the ground, I think. While it snakes its way, there's going to be like a very snaky road that's going to go through here. As it goes through all the, there's going to be like headlands and valleys, you know what I mean? No politics. I don't know if you guys are talking about politics, but someone, someone wrote no politics, which means no politics. Yes, no politics, please. We're playing City Skylines. We only talk about cities here. And I asked the question, do you guys play mostly vanilla? both or heavily modded and heavily asseted asseted <laughs> because uh, yeah i don't know i'm just i'm enjoying a less modded gaming experience at the moment uh like for instance sichuan province at the moment i uh i'm real. I, I love the i love how much we have but like how many assets we have but I just feel like it's a little less relatable, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you're just like watching me detail like crazy. Whereas this is a bit more, you know, it's achievable. You know, you're, you're probably more likely to be able to follow along and see what I'm doing and think, oh yeah, I, I, could, I could do something like this with the assets like you've got. Whereas Sichuan Province, I'm, I feel like it's just a little bit, it's like on a different level. Not that I'm doing anything too crazy, but I just think there's like a lot of assets and mods and stuff. Whereas I'm really liking just the the more vanilla stuff at the moment. Mind you, this isn't that vanilla, is it? I think that's fine the way it is. A lot of... <laughs> what? Did you guys just talk to each other about donating $2.20? Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, it is Australia Day. Thanks for that. Um, can I swap my unbuilt house to the racetrack? my unbuilt house to the racetrack so would you like the racetrack you know what you've got it when i do a racetrack 
it'll be yours. Unless, unless you want a name for it. So if you want to hit me up in the comments and say, hey, you should totally do this name, then go for it. Besqueeklehausen, hello, my friend. Um, Jay, what did you think of <laughs> the train video? Every time I was like dragging around those ro those train networks and um, yeah, playing around, I was like, man, Jay's gonna love this or hate it because uh, like, I don't know, I don't know how realistic it is. But man, I had a lot of fun doing that. I miss our collaboration on Springwood, mate. That was good, good fun. I'm not even, oh, frag Fragile Rocker, New Zealand. I assume NZ means New Zealand. Thank you so much for the $2.20. I'm going to give you a business, mate. How about that? Oh, how about this? You can have a cafe. You want a cafe? Right next to the train station? I reckon this would kill. Hey, by the way, if you guys ever donate or ever um, support me, let me know what you want. I mean, unless you're happy for me just to choose where you have. Um, I'll just go random. But if you're like into coffee, say, hey, dude, can you give me a cafe? Or if you want a house by the ocean, hey, can you give me that? Because I plan to do this for ages. I love this series so much at the moment. And I want to do this for ages. So if you're like, oh, man, I really want, like, I'm into boats. Can you give me one of them? Then I'll give you one of them. Oh, man, I didn't even give you a place. See, too many bloody donations at the same time, <laughs> guys. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to give you... No, not that abandoned warehouse. Now, this one's small, but look at the business you'd have. Kitty ca Cafe, give me a break. Oh, okay, too big. Maybe not. You can continue to be Kitty Cat Cafe. I'm going to give you... No, this is a good place. I'm going to give you this spot. I'm just going to change. Hey, I said that. There you go. How good's that? A little cafe. I think that would kill. Look at that bus stop. I mean, look at that bus stop. That is insane. <laughs> That is an insane bus stop. Uh, I've never really placed down buses in um, this game, so that's like, I guess that's what you get when you do it. Um, and John Lucas, uh, dude, thank you so much. Uh, Laughlin, Nevada would be a nice inspiration for the casino town as it is, as it is small but still has casino city spirit. Okay, now that is very interesting. I will check that out. James Atlas, I agree with you. Just to let you know. Uh, okay, yes, I am so doing that. I'm gonna check it out. Thank you very much. John, I'm gonna give you a place. Whoa, wrong button. I'm trying to copy. All right, we're gonna get back to work in a second, but I wanna give you this place. <laughs> karaoke, shall I give you karaoke? There you get your own karaoke place. And yeah, I I'm, I want to do some sort of casino area, but I don't I don't really know the sort of place I'm going to do. So that's really good that um because I think in in, in Australia uh, we have a law where you can only uh, build one you can only build one casino per like capital city. So we've only got like one. Uh, one casino in each city and then everywhere else there's no casinos um, I don't know if it's the same in other places I'm sure it's pr probably pretty similar but um, yeah Gator can I get a home in the hood uh, or on the beach mate I'm going to give you a place in the hood I'm glad you asked I'm going to call it Gator's house There you go, man. Enjoy. All right. Oh boy, you guys, so many donations. Now, 220, <laughs> oh God. Uh, Melky Quinn, I, th I hope I'm saying that right, but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna give you this spot because this place is sick. No, actually, I'm gonna give you, I think you deserve some sort of business. I mean, if you've got a house here, then I think you deserve a business. Oh, 
what would I give you though? Ah, uh, let's give you a cafe. Park cafe, give me a break. How good's that? Now when we start doing these videos guys, that means you can start seeing how good's that. You can see where you actually live. I, I don't even have a house here. I need to get myself one. Um, and dot corgi, thank you. I was in my other account, lol. Uh, I don't know what that means, but you, my friend, get a place, and you get a place, and you get a place. I'm gonna do one more house, and then we're gonna get back to building. No, you don't get a house, you get a pharmacy. No, that's lame, you don't want a pharmacy, give me a break. I'm gonna give him a mansion. How's that? There you go, a mansion, and one more, Carl Smith, from New Zealand, another, Afternoon from Auckland. Afternoon? Afternoon? Jeez, I didn't realize there was such a big time difference. Can I please have a great mansion? I'm a radio and TV personality in Marble Mountain. <laughs> need, a, need great views. Oh, that is so good. I'm so glad. Guys, if you ever want to give yourself like a bit of um, a, something, something like a bit more embed yourself in this series a bit more, you can add your own name to the wiki. Like that's how like that's how detailed we can get. So Carl is actually embedded within the wiki and within the whole uh, series. That is so sick, dude. All right, that is a that is a nice house. Look at those windows. I mean, come on, that is great. Get to watch the boats come in. All right, I need to get back to building. But thank you all so much for those donations. I really, they're fantastic. They can help a lot. Uh. I kid X. Man, I can't believe people are still watching from Europe. We're getting pretty We're getting pretty late for Europe. I must must be pretty late. Um yeah, casinos. Back to casinos. We um yeah, we only have I mean we're actually building they're building another one in Sydney, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's the packers for you. But um yeah, I think the law is you can only have one one casino per capital city in Australia. So every every capital city in Australia pretty much has a has a casino. But anywhere else, there's none. But I, I know, in, I, I could be wrong, but America seems to have a lot more uh, casinos. Like this whole, I mean, this pretty much whole city is dedicated to casinos. There are whole cities dedicated to casinos. Um, but yeah, we're getting a, a new casino in Australia in Sydney. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's like a private one. Like, you actually, I think you have to s stay in the hotel or something like that to to actually to actually use it. But they're pretty bloody awful places. I, this highway is like pretty decent. I'm quite, I'm liking where it's sitting. Hello from Alaska. Are you serious? That is awesome. I I was like, okay, so I was on Google Earth, like checking out San Francisco, getting some ideas for builds. And then I ended up in Alaska, just like flying around going, wow, this is amazing. Like Alaska is insane. Uh, do you live in Anchorage? Because I was checking out the other like smaller towns up north, far out, that is, that is pretty amazing. People still watching from London. Thank you, road trips. Thank you, Ethan, in France. 10 a.m. in Adelaide. That's one place I haven't been. I've been to a lot of places in Australia, but I haven't been to Adelaide yet. Pretty keen to get there. It's 1 a.m. in Europe. God, geez Louise, guys. 6.30 in the US. New York City. Man, how sick is New York City? I was there two years ago. It's like, mind blowing. Like some places you go to, like some cities you go to, or like some countries you go to, and you're like, oh yeah, I, okay, this is cool. But like, it's not really what you expected. Uh, New York was what I expected and more. Am I going like, oh, I, can't, I can't believe this place really looks like this. Now with this highway, I'm sort of thinking that it goes from, you know, it's one of those highways that isn't just like, I guess, yeah, like, yeah, as we call it a highway. Uh, it's not just dedicated always for a highway, you know, sometimes there will be traffic lights and sometimes it'll go through, um, you know, it'll, it'll 
get pretty slow. So it's not just like a dedicated highway. Because again, the people around this area are going to be like somewhat on the outskirts of the city. So it's not going to be too dense, which is good because I mean, that's probably a good reason why we didn't put the airport around this area. 6.30 in Tennessee. Uh, 1.30 a.m. in Serbia. Far out. That's awesome. I can't believe it who, who, who's, who's, who's watching? Who reckons they're the, they're the latest up? So far, I think Serbia is probably the person in the who's watching in the latest time. That's what I'm trying to say. It's 2 a 2.30 a.m. in Istanbul. Uh, East, Insta, why can't I? I can never say Istanbul. Uh, yeah, you're the latest. 2.30. Can anyone beat that? Yeah, massive worldwide fan base. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's pretty nuts. Biskwickelhausen, yeah. It's not bad. Jay and I actually, um, we hung out. It's the first time we met. We'll have to do it again sometimes, Jay. When are you going to come to Australia, Jay? I feel like you're always around. You're always flying around. Why don't you just fly around to Australia? It's just a, it's just a quick 25 hours. Hmm, man, this is going to be tricky. What the hell am I going to do here? What am I going to do? <laughs> it's like such a huge difference. Oh, this is so uh, this is gonna be the, that's gonna be a big project. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that area. I'm just gonna do a quick, quick terraform because that is a whole project in itself. That is insane. So I want I've got another question for you guys. What are you desperate to see in Marble Mountain? Like, are you just like every time I release an episode, you're like, please be this one. Like, please be the airport. Please be working on the other side of the river. Please be doing another national park. Please be doing the Las Vegas city. Please be doing this. Please be doing that. Like, what are you desperate to see in this build? Not this build, but in this series. Like, I'm not promising anything. But, <laughs> like, not, not that I'm going to listen to it. Well, I might listen to it a bit. But, like, what are you just hanging out to see? So see this area here, I'm thinking that's, oh, am I auto saving? Why is it lagging? Uh, so what I'm thinking for this area is before it was, and this is going to be like a great update, but there's, yeah, so before and right now, I guess, there's this mountain range and it just like gradually goes down to this river. So the only, the thing that's kind of annoying about that is there's only like a little bit of, I guess the scale is a bit off because that is like massive compared to this. Whereas I need to sort of work in the scale of city skylines a bit. And uh, I think it's too, it's too crazy to have a gradient like that. You know, there's not much I can do with it. So instead, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create another map, like a hillside around here. So it's gonna be like a hill and then this is gonna be a valley, but it's not gonna be like too steep. It's gonna be more, uh, more of a gradual, a gradual thing. So what I mean by that is I'm going to do, let's just see, let's just say see you later. So this will be quite elevated. And I don't mind that elevation around here. I said up. And then this is going to be like a bit of a, like a, like a bit of a hilly mountainous thing. Nothing too crazy, just um, just a little bit. So then that way it's kind of that also blocks a lot of a lot of the view because I don't want everything to be viewable or like like be able, like I don't want you to be able to see every single detail. So for instance, now that we have this whole like curvy thing here, it really blocks everything else that's past this point, which is what I want. I don't want it to feel too close. So the whole reason why I made all this all windy, you know, if I just did like a straight line, you'd just be able to see it straight away. It, I talk so much about this in the next episode, so get excited for that. Next episode is so good, by the way. I think it's really good. Um, so what are you guys keen to see? I asked a question and then I didn't answer it. 
Big skyscrapers, I've done it. Theme park, yeah, I'm, I kind of want to do a theme park. Mountain resort, yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, Las Vegas or Los Santos, yeah. <laughs> airport, no surprises there. Um, what else do you want to say? Airport, 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 airports. Yeah, lots of people want to see the airport. Build out my towns first. Yeah, I agree. What I want to do though is I need to figure out. So I'm going to like backwards map. I'm going to figure out where the uh, highways are going to go and then I'm going to build the roads. But I'm not. I'm going to try and make it look like the roads are there first. You actually told me that. Uh, much like this, you know, the roads were there first, then they build the highways. Whereas when I first built this map, the, all the roads were based around the highways. So what Jay means by that is highways always come second. So you want to do all your road layouts first as if they've been there for hundreds of years and then all of a sudden they decide to build a highway and then you've got to demolish those roads. I'm going to work, I'm going to figure out where the highways are going to go and then I'm going to build the roads as if they were there first, if that makes sense. The reason why I do it that way is I want my highways to do like interesting things. I want them to be in certain locations uh, because I actually really like highways. You know, if you can't tell, I always do highways. I think they're, I reckon they look awesome. And yeah, and then I'll put the roads in after that. Aquarium, geez, I, haven't, I don't even think about doing an, an aquarium. Embassies, <laughs> didn't even think about doing that one. That's an interesting one. Uh, yeah, Vegas, Vegas, baby. Yeah, I'd like to do that. A large monument. A gold mine. Yeah, a lot of people are keen for me to get out into the desert. Um, so just did like a bit of a heads up. Um, the next few episodes are all out in the desert. Oh, cracked my neck. They're all out in the desert. I'm going to be doing um, like heaps of work uh, out around the towns around there, uh, figuring out where lots of things are going to go. Yeah, less around the city, more around the desert. Um, and the thing is with that is I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, I'm gonna, what, yeah. Here's an insight to the next, to my, my planning. Uh, big projects, like the one that I've just just given myself, <laughs> you know, like working around here, uh, they're going to be like big episodes, save for weekends. Then there's also smaller projects I'm going to be doing, like detailing and very small bits and pieces. Uh, I'm going to be planning and releasing those episodes throughout the week, which are just as important, just as interesting, but I they don't take quite as much time. And they'll be shorter, like more like 15 under 20 minutes, that sort of stuff. How's that? I think that looks great. Yaniv, again, with the donation. What if I want to shoot my next film in Marble Mountain? Yeah, good points. Hmm. I think you will probably shoot it around here because this is where I think I'm going to be placing some kind of um, movie studios. I think this area is going to be dedicated for like some really nice houses, some big mansions where all like the movie stars live, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's going to look awesome. I actually look, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Uh, Yaniv, I think if you're going to be shooting movies around here, I think you probably, you should probably have like a, like a mountain, like a second house around here. You know, like a, like a second residence, because I mean, you are a movie star and all. Or maybe you're not a movie star. You're probably like a film director or something. Hmm, uh, what am I doing? That's ridiculous. Actually, you know what? Because we're doing this road going out like this, it's then going to go through the valley. That makes so much sense. That's going to be great. So I think I can probably do this a little bit better. So I can raise it slowly. Yeah, that's looking good. That I, I'm loving this highway. This actually might be one of my favorite highways. And this area, I reckon, would be like farm farm areas, farmland. Don't worry about the trees. So valleys, valleys, farms. 
super windy. It's windy because there's going to be like a lot of a lot of hills around here. So it's kind of like going around the contours of the landscape. You don't want it to just like totally cut through it. Do I keep going? I'm going to keep going. Yeah, let's take it down here. Kind of, I sort of want to get someone like an, another YouTuber to jump in and build a town down here. I think there's a couple of people I'm going to ask. I think I might see if Skib wants to take on that challenge. And there's also uh, the Tim Meister. I might get him on and to do it. Um, and there's also Pug Gaming. I might get see if he's keen. Do I connect it up? I'm going to connect it up. I'm going to do it. Oh boy. How am I going to do this? I don't like, I don't want to build my own intersection. I hate them. No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to build an intersection. Fine, I'll do an intersection. No, I'm not. I'm going to do a roundabout. Or maybe I'll get Skib to build this. Oh, by the way, this is like... Like, don't expect any of this to stay. This is just to see traffic coming in. Mind you, it's not connected up to anything. Dear God, what am I doing? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do... Actually, effort. And when I mean effort, I mean... Fudge it. I'm not going to do anything. No! <laughs> I just... Uh, does that happen to you guys as well? That never used to happen, and then all of a sudden. Beautiful. Uh, and then all of a sudden, like, whenever I go to uh, drag some roads, they just, like, totally, they totally don't work. How about that? Beautiful. That's lovely, $2.20. Wonderful. Love it. Don't worry, we are so far from like working in this area. None of this is going to look like this. But we need to get rid of some of these because they that does kill me. That totally kills me. Who would you like? Who would you like to see build in one of these episodes? Uh, because I do want to start getting some more people building in Marble Mountain. That was that's something I've moved away from. Uh, like my patrons are allowed to build in this uh, series too. Uh, and I, have, I need to actually get, actually that's Gate of the Gods. If you're interested in building, you should, um, I'll, I might get in touch with you. Uh, but yeah, I do invite patrons to come in and build. Um, and I would also like some more YouTubers. I've, I've only had, I've only shared it with Skibbeth and he's going to come and do the next one because I'm going to swap with him in a, in a next episode. Not in the next episode. I'll, I'll be swapping with him pretty soon. But I, um, yeah, we'd love to get some more people in. Anybody you think? Jay. Yeah, Tim Meister would be awesome. Any of those guys would be great. Prez would be also great. Thing is, you just gotta work with vanilla assets. That's the hard part. A church would be more realistic. A church would be great. The only, I, I, I'm trying not to download too many extra stuff. That's the only thing. Oh my God. I didn't even realize. Corrales. Yeah, he doesn't really play anymore, though. He would be great with that, wouldn't he? Me? Should I do it? <laughs> Should I just keep going? Flux would be awesome. Yeah, Flux would be great. But yeah, super keen to get some more people in. Seal, if he doesn't really play anymore. Yeah, so many. there's so many good people. I mean, come on. There's so many people we could choose. Uh, but it'd be cool to have like just areas where like people are, um, you know, that are like, oh, hey, like so and so built that, or so and so built this one. Flabaliki, yeah, oh, actually, that's a that's a good one. I haven't seen him in ages. Yeah, I might see if he wants to do it. What do you guys think about this highway? You think that's good? Because I think it's kind of kind of nice. Jay, I'd love you to come and um, come and build. Actually, you're a patron as well. Of course, like you're you're meant to do it. 
I should totally get you to do it. I haven't seen you build in ages as well. I'd love to see you build. You should think about it. I'm loving the path of that highway. I think that is so cool. Yeah, Gator, you're keen. I'm re download the map and make something for this. I'll um, let you know how it goes. Yeah, Gator, I'll, um, I'll, I'll message you, mate, because I, there's a couple of areas I'm thinking of places where you might want to build. Um, yeah, but you've got to use moving and stuff, and it's got to be like somewhat flat. So that's, the, that's the really annoying part. Uh, because we use move it to like export things. So I'll get in touch. Gator, I'll get in touch. I'll, I'll message you as soon as I finish the stream. What else? Yes, Jay, you need to get a rig along with um, Procedo Bay. Procedio? Pro sorry, Procedio Bay. Um, which I back as well. Uh, you guys should go and check it out. Bisquickle has Bisquickelhausen has a series that he's um, working on with a whole bunch of other um, asset creators and YouTubers. And I think it's gonna be really, really cool. It's all sort of based on, um, like the history of San Francisco is really, they're really taking it to a whole new level. I'm just so curious to see where it goes. I'm desperate for you guys to start releasing stuff, mate. You have gotta release stuff. Yeah, man, you're gonna get on Marble Mountain Gator, don't worry. We'll get you on. What else? Yeah, Jay, I want, yeah, totally. I really want, I really want to see some more of those assets as well. Um, if you guys are interested, go check out his Patreon page. It's, uh, yeah, Jay, maybe like chuck a link in there so we can like, so we can get people there. It's gonna be great. There's already some really awesome assets for it. This highway is awesome. Did I already mention that? Now, I know you're kind of like, dude, why doesn't the highway just go along here? Well, it doesn't, all right? I'm sort of thinking that uh, maybe this is where the road will go. So this would be like a, this is kind of like an unofficial highway. So this might go kind of like this. Ah, sort of like that it's on a different, grid pattern than the other side of the bay. I sort of like that. You know what I mean? I, I, I like it when, where there's, where there's grids and they, they're all like matching up, but then they don't. I think that looks awesome. So I think I might do something similar. Uh, so this will be one type of grid and then I might do another one like this. So it's kind of like a bit off, if you know what I mean. Because I, I hate it when they, when all the grids are just like all the same. I know that's like typical in a lot of countries, but for some reason Australia, like we have like the worst grids. Sydney has the worst grids. We have like no grids. I heard like when they planned Sydney, it was like all based on goat trails or something. It's probably just a rumor. How good is that? I love this. It's gonna be so good. I just want to keep working on this area. I, I was working on a different spot for the next episode, guys. Ugh. Now I just want to work here. So this is what I mean. So there will be spots where it actually connects up to road and then where it connects up to road. You know, like something like this. Beautiful. Wonderful. And then it changes changes the grid. Hmm. Let's try this close. I know there's a much easier way of doing this, but I'm not gonna do it. But I also don't wanna get too carried away with this side. I don't want it to like be absolutely massive. There we go. And, or maybe one more over. What? It's even worse. Oh, maybe it's not. That's better. Yeah, so something like this. So that way the traffic sort of like, you know, it's going pretty fast and then it just slows down. But like that is so, that is so temporary. We are, we are gonna, we're gonna fix the hell out of that. Um, What are you guys talking about? 
Call it an intersection. Yeah. Uh, Marble Mountain could use a big oil refinery. I totally agree. I mean, and I want to get back into industry. So another spoiler alert. We um. Because so the big projects like this, like this is this is a big project, by the way. Like this is, I know it's kind of like just dragon roads, but it's not. It takes ages to figure out what's gonna go there and stuff. Whereas if I was to build like an industry over here, that take that is so quick. That takes me like a couple of hours. Whereas this is. Like for this to turn into a worthy of a whole episode, it's like a day's worth of work. It sounds ridiculous, but it, it kind of it, it kind of is because a lot of that footage I have to delete because it's kind of just boring. So I'm doing like big projects, and then I'm also doing like smaller projects too. So I need to kind of keep an eye on that. Bisquickle has it. I think master planning the whole thing like this might not give you the look you're after. Yeah, I agree. But I'm not going to do too much like i'm just gonna like that's probably it that's probably all the roads i'm gonna drag around here uh mostly because these mountains are gonna have a play a big impact or play a big part of um how that's all gonna look do you know what i mean like i don't want to just do it i think i'm gonna stream for like another 10 more minutes guys and then i'm going to call it a day well it's actually the beginning of my day but it's like so hot in this place i need to go outside to the beach or something it's also the last day of my holidays uh, i don't want to go back to work i'm gonna go to work tomorrow <laughs> I, don't to go to work. I don't want to go to work yeah so if you have any questions if you have any like suggestions then let me know because i'm still writing in my book it's full of stuff at the moment yeah Still writing some stuff. Uh, do my students call me Mr. Tw uh, Mr. 20 or Mr. Sense? Yep, they do. No, they don't. So, this is what. I'm going to map some stuff out for you. We can say goodbye to this one. Goodbye. I'm thinking like power stations... I'm thinking power station and water treatment over here. Uh, I'm also thinking that there's going to be some really nice looking houses. I kind of like around here. But I mean, Bayview is, Bayview is going to be like the bulk of, you know, the real ritzy, nice area. Um, some big, big, big old mansions around here. I don't have like too many. Crescent. I think is going to extend. Now we've got like a bit more room for Crescent. I think this is going to be Crescent. Crescent, I think, is where I'm going to put the movie studio. We've got to have a movie studio. I mean, come on. It would be so cool. There's actually some great assets that I'm... I was planning on using for Springwood, but I never got around to doing it. I think this would be a cool spot for that. So that's where like some really nice neighborhoods are going to be. Holy Hills. Man, I really like that name. We're going to keep that name. Holy Hills is going to be up here. I think that's going to be kind of nice living up around here. I think something around here will probably end up being like a... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking it might be a bit of a commercial district. If you know what I mean. Like something like that around there. Whoop. And then when we start getting around this area... Why am I using such a small... Crescent Hills. We already have a Crescent, all right? We're not going to do another one. This is going to be like outer, no, this is not outer city. This is, we're going to get into like farms here. You know, outer, outer city farms. I'm going to call it that. That's going to be outer city farms. This area, so you remember how I said I wanted to do things that I don't already have in uh, Marble Mountain already? Something that I really wish I did, because I, I, I didn't do it in, I didn't do it in this area. But over here, I want this to have a very different feel than going through this valley. Because this valley is like very much like suburban. Whereas this, I would actually much prefer this to be kind of like where you have the big 
uh, big like box warehouse uh, kind of shopping. Warehouse big outer city. It'd help if I could spell. Do you know what I mean? Like that's what I'm, I'm sort of thinking that's what's gonna be there. And if this is gonna be a commercial, I'm gonna call this shopping. Remember how like three hours ago we said we're gonna do a shopping district? I think that should be around here. That leaves this area here, which I'm not really sure I'm gonna do around here. So any ideas? A lot of people suggest war memorials. I I don't know, I feel a bit weird about doing a war, war memorial. Uh, I don't know, it just feels a bit strange. So I've been putting that off. That's why I also put off uh, things like, uh, what's it called? Military bases. I'm gonna do like a bit of an Area 51 bunker sort of thing, like a spoiler alert. Yeah, we are gonna do that. Um, I've always wanted to do that, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I, I wanted to do it as just just as much as a lot of other people. I know it's a bit of a there's a bit of a meme going on about that, but I would I would also like to do that. Uh, Holy Heels is a character in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. That's weird. His name is Holy Heels. That's really strange. I want another house in Bayview. You want another house in Bayview? Well, maybe that should be the thing that you build in uh in Marble Mountain, my friend. I'm gonna give you this one anyway. But you'll be doing a killer job. Mate, you're gonna have so many places. Uh, are you on, like, I feel like you need to have like some sort of like big presence in this city. Gator's house. My friend, maybe that's what you should be building. I forgot who lives here, but God, there's a lot of death here. This is gonna be like Headlands National Park. What else do you think? Like a DFO, yes, exactly like a DFO. That's what I was thinking. Silicon Valley, yeah, isn't that, hold on, is, is Silicon Valley where all those really nice big mansions, no, that's that's Hollywood. Silicon Valley is kind of more where they, uh, you know, like where Google and Facebook and all those places are, right? But yeah, maybe that'd be kind of cool around here. Shopping mall, yep, that's gonna go here. What else? I thought of some ideas of builds in the city. Hope you can use them. Um, embassies, a fish market, CEI headquarters, Sil Silicon Valley, an Indian reserva reservation, mines, slab city type of community, worshipping aliens. Yeah, <laughs> that would be so cool. Um, I'm I'm actually considering building a lot of those things. Uh, yeah, that's totally something I want to do. Um, again, uh, I think Silicon Valley would be something that would be similar like around here. What else do you think? So last change to post. Um, I'm, so last chance, I think chance to post. Um, abandoned gold mine. That's gonna go on the. That's gonna go out in the sticks. But I'm definitely gonna do an abandoned gold mine. Uh, yep. Uh, Route 66 style road. That's gonna. That's already out in the desert. You should go and check out some of the older episodes. We've got a route like that. Actually, next video we're going to be doing a lot of highway desert work. It's a good one. Three more minutes, guys. I was gonna quit kids. Yeah, we're gonna go three more minutes and then I'm gonna go have some breakfast. Uh, Silicon Valley has its fair share of mansions. Well, that's good because I think Holy Hills would be quite a nice looking area. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for this area. Uh, I don't want to go too big. It's not going to be as big as Mama Mountain. Mama Mountain, dear God. It's not going to be as big as uh, this sort of area because this is where the downtown is. So we've got to keep that, like, you know, looking like it's its own thing. Whereas this is going to be more spread out. It's going to be less dense. Saying that, I think I've probably gone, I've probably given myself too much room. So I probably might change a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to also put here some kind of band on tourist building thingy. So that's going to be kind of like an Alcatraz sort of uh, tourist location that we can have the that would be like more of a reason why people use the ferries to go to this spot. I think that'd be awesome. And this will be the headlands. I don't want. I don't really want any houses over here. 
Plus, that would make it more, you know, if you were to travel along here and there was like, you know, kind of like headlands around here that you couldn't see the rest of that side of the city. Uh, this would feel like you're going on more of a, more of a, like a road trip over to this side. Whereas if I just had another city over here, it would feel like nothing changes. Oh yeah, um, Mar Marufa Ram Raman, sorry, butchered your name. Uh, thank you so much for the $5 donation. The future of Marble Mountain looking bright. I think it's looking pretty damn sick, mate. I am, yeah, so keen. I actually, I really need to, I really need to stop building, to be honest, because I need to get back into, into, um, into Sichuan province. Mate, I'm going to give you this spot. Now this place is, now I know it might look like it's a bit old, but it's not. It's actually a super nice. It's gonna be a super nice location. It's super nice because it's like a little. It's a little bit older. It's an older style place, but right next to the bridge, which I think would be beautiful. And you've also got the tram station, which is just here. You got the hospital. You're right next to the downtown fish markets, docks. You got it all, baby. You got it all. So yeah, that's a good spot right there. A couple more minutes, guys, and I gotta go. I gotta go, Scott. Thank you for the five dollar donation, mate. I um, yeah, really, really appreciate that. It's been a really great stream. Of, I've enjoyed it so much. I think I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a house. These places, they they've got some they've got some nice views. They got some really nice views. I'm gonna give you this place here. You could even got a pool. At. There you go. Nice spot, my friend. Like that is that is a nice spot. I'm gonna give myself a house, by the way. Like this gonna be a, I don't know about you guys, but when I used to play these games when I was um when I was a bit younger, I used to always give myself like a like a mayor's house. And it used to be like some of the nicest locations, you know, like somewhere like this. But I'm pretty sure that's taken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's someone's house. That house is already taken. All the good houses are already taken. No, I'm just joking. There's so many houses. Do you have any last questions? Any last questions? No, thanks, Scott. I really appreciate it, dude. I should be the one that's thanking you. I enjoy doing this so much. Like, I love I love building these things. And I also love streaming. I'm really enjoying it. Build graveyards and church? Yeah, I might do. I'm kind of interested in doing something like that, but... Um, at this stage, I just want to expand out. I really want to expand out. See you, Blue. Visit you in your hood. Gator, I'm afraid to go down to your hood because I... There's some spoilers down there. I don't know if you noticed them. Gator, when I share you your... When I share the safe game with you, you're going to see, like, how much I've done. <laughs> All right? So, Gator, when I'm, I'm going to message you, like... I'm going to have breakfast and I'm going to give you the same message. But, Gator, there's, like... It is a ridiculous amount of work that I've been doing. All right, so just a heads up. Any last questions, guys? Late to the stream, no airport anymore? The airport, my friend, has been moved. We've just moved it over here. This is where the airport's going to go. I know, that's kind of crazy, but we did a poll and everyone chose this area. No, not everybody. It was split. It was a split decision. This is going to be a sick spot though, so I'm pretty keen to do that. It's going to be great. You got a couple of properties in Marble Mountain. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. I'm glad. Next time, can you remind me next time? I have to give you a business. You need a business around here. All right, my friends, I better go. I better go. It's been almost three hours. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. I do need to go. My friends, I've really enjoyed this stream. Thank you so much for joining me. We've made a lot of headroom, to be honest. There's a lot of exciting projects we're going to be doing. The next episode is um, pretty nuts. Like, I change a lot. And I, um, yeah, I really can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be, like, a lot of fun. Uh, but until next time, oh, not until next time, guys, I'm going to be doing a, there's going to be Sichuan province on Wednesday, at least my Wednesday. So check that out. It's going to be great. It's a good one.
And then um, on the weekend, we'll get back into Marlin Mountain. But that's it. Thank you guys for joining. It's been fun. All right. Peace, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.